In the previous video, we discussed about the T cell activation. Why we saw the interaction of naive T cell with the APCs. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the subsets of CD4 effector T cells, or we can say the differentiation of T helper cells into various subsets. First of all, we see the differentiation is induced when we have the interaction of naive T helper cell with antigen presenting cells. Here in this diagram, we have the antigen presenting cell that's APC. It's having different proteins on membrane like B7, MSC and OXO4 and many other proteins. And this APC interacts with CD4 positive cell with the corresponding molecules. Like B7 interacts with CD28, MSC2 interacts with TCR, CD4 positive interacts with MSC2 and OXO4 with OXO4 ligand. The detailed interaction between APC and T cell has been discussed in the previous video linked in the description. When all the interactions occur like stimulation and co-stimulation, then ultimately there is production of cytokines which are released by the APC which induces the differentiation of CD4 positive cells into different subsets. From these subset differentiation, first of all we get the Th1 that's T helper cell 1 followed by TH2, TH9, TH17, TH22, then we have TREG cell, that's T regulatory cell, it's followed by TFH, that's T follicular helper cell. If we see how differentiation is being induced here, it's all due to the cytokines. We see interleukin 1, 2 and interferon gamma drives the differentiation of TH1 subsets. Then interleukin 4 drives differentiation of TH2, in the same way, interleukin 4 and TGF beta drives differentiation of TH9, the IL1623 and TGF beta drives differentiation of TF17. Then, moving further, we have interleukin 6 and TNF that drives differentiation of T22 or TH22. Then, we have IL2 and TGF beta that drives differentiation of T regulatory cell. And finally, we have interleukin 6 and interleukin 21 that drives differentiation of TFH, that's T follicular helper cell. Now let's see what kind of cytokines are produced by these CD4 positive subsets. The Th1 produces interferon gamma and TNF factor. Th2 produces IL4, IL5, IL13. The Th9 produces IL9. The Th17 produces IL17, 21, 22, 25 and IL26. The Th22 produces IL22 that's interleukin 22 whereas T regulatory produces IL-10, IL-35 and TGF beta. Then we have TFH that produces interleukin-21. Furthermore, let's see what are the immune functions of these different subsets. First of all, the TH1 does macrophage activation and stimulation of IgG production. Then TH2 subset does the stimulation of IgE production and activation of mast cells and eosinophils. Then Th9 plays role in tumor suppression and stimulation of anti-tumor lymphocytes. Moving on, Th17 plays role in the recruitment of neutrophils and monocytes. And also Th17 aids in the wound healing. Then we have the Th22 that induces the cytokine and chemokine production. And also stimulates tissue remodeling. And we have now the two regulatory cell, which all together regulates the immune system like it does the regulation through suppression and hemostasis of the immune system. Then we have T follicular cell which plays role in the B cell maturation and germinal center formation. And also remember the subset TH2 and TH9 plays role in the helminth infection. Whereas the TH17 has role in the immune response for bacteria and fungi. Now let's see what kind of transcription factors drive differentiation of these subsets. The TBT transcription factor enables the differentiation towards the TH1, GATA3 for TH2, IRF4 and PU1 for TH9, ROR gamma factor for TH17, then we have BNC2 and FOXO4 for TH22, and FOXP3 STAT5 for TREG, and STAT3 and BCL6 for TFH cell. So these are the different aspects of CD4 subsets getting differentiated from naive T cells with the stimulation from antigen presenting cells. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me more on Patreon. I also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.